Hey there! Um, today we're going to have a look at no less than three pens, which were very kindly sent to me by Enso, for which great thanks. So this is an, uh, a relatively new pen from Enso called the XS, extra small pocket pen, and that is a very apt description because it is a rather small pocket pen. I actually kind of like these, I think they have some cute features on them. Uh, in a nutshell, number 5 Bach nib, you can purchase them in aluminum or titanium. Uh, aluminum, titanium. The titanium is a limited edition of 100 pence. It's also a bit uh, more expensive. The aluminum is $59, the titanium is $100, that is US. Um, it's kind of funny, the pens come with two spare o-rings, I'll show you why. It takes a cartridge or a small uh, one of the small Caveco type or whatever converters, which is not included, you only get a, a cartridge, and you can buy a little optional clip for three dollars. And uh, and that's that's pretty much all there's to it. So pocket pens. So I'm going to show you the parts of these pens. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so the Enso Excess pocket pen, just so you know, this would be the pens in relationship to a Lamy Safari. As you can see, they are much smaller, but obviously, I mean, they have both XS and pocket in their name, so you would expect them to be small, right? The pens come in cute little boxes, which I really enjoy. A very nice, simple box, black box with the Enso logo on it. Uh, the website and that's it and that is really neat in my mind I don't need a giant box for my pens personally um, included also is this little uh, ziplock baggie which has two spare o-rings I will come back to those okay I think that I'm going to show you this aluminum model because it seems to be the least reflective the titanium is a bit more reflective and the black is very nice but then I can't show you the o-ring very well so it's a pocket pen, it has a clip. For the record, that clip is an optional accessory that costs $3, which I think is a pretty fair price, and it slides off. I just want to show you, uh, this is a Caveco style uh, uh, system. I, I don't mean it in a negative way, but it's like this is kind of the same thing that Caveco used, so if you've ever used that and you know what this is like for a Caveco Sport, for example. Okay, so we have that. We have the multi-faceted body barrel and cap, which I think is really quite nice. And then here at the end, you have the first O-ring. So, if we start here with the finial, you see it's the same material as the cap. We go down, cap and barrel are completely flush. And then at the end here, you have that rubber O-ring for posting, as well as, quite small, the Enzo logo. I like that it's not plastered all over there, but it is there. The pen uncaps easily. There's another rubber o-ring there to keep the pen capped and then you can post it. Oh, that's it. Sorry. I'm, 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 I'm looking through a tripod. Pod. I thought that was not aligned properly, but it is. So you post it, right, quite simply. The o-ring keeps it in place and then you have your pen, which is a smaller pocket size. This I cannot use unposted, but that of course depends a bit on your hand size. You have a nice, simple barrel, tapers down ever so slightly. You have a simple number five Bach nib, uh, which is not rebranded, and then a little feed. And the pen is fed, in this case, through a converter. Uh, sorry, a, uh, a cartridge. Uh, and you can take one of those small, for example, Caveco uh, converters and put that in the pen if you, if you want to. Uh, that is pretty much all I have to say about the pen. So you can get it in this uh, aluminum finish. You can also get it in this black aluminum finish. And they do make a black clip, which is a nice touch. The black pen is a stealth pen. Everything on it is black, including the nib. Uh, for the record, you also get one cartridge uh, with these pens. Now we have my personal favorite, the titanium. Titanium also has a really nice tendency to age well. This one already has a couple of scuffs on it, which I always really enjoy. Same thing, clip is optional. The aluminum versions are $59 and the titanium is $100, that is US. Beyond this, the titanium version looks exactly the same way as the um, aluminum versions. It's just that it's titanium, right? And um, therefore it's also a little heavier. 
and you definitely feel that way difference. The aluminum pens are very, very light. So I don't really want to write with all three because I don't really want to waste your time, but I am going to write with... I'll, I'll see what I can do. So, starting off with the regular um, aluminum metal finish, we have in front of us the oops, Enso XS pocket oops, fountain pen, uh, and this is a medium nib. You can get them with fine, medium, and broad. Uh, this is medium, and this is just a black cartridge that came with the pen. So I don't know who, who makes that ink, but it's just simple black. Now, just because uh, the titanium version handles very much the same to this pen, but I also want to show you the black pen. I recently actually had a discussion at a local pen meet uh, about this. I'm just posting it off camera, sorry. Um, Often, these black coated nibs, and that is the case here too, I just want you to be aware of that, it writes beautifully, there's no issues there, but it does have a tiny bit of a different feeling from the uncoated nibs, because the tipping material is coated as well, and over time that may wear off a bit, but often these start off having maybe a little bit more feedback, and you may be able to hear it. That first is this. Not a bad writer, and I'm also not saying it's a bad writer. All I'm saying is be aware of the fact that if you use a, a black coated nib, you will experience a slightly different feedback sensation than if you use an uncoated nib. But the both both of the nibs write very pleasantly. As to wetness. and line variation while well, they're pretty stiff so this was coated and this is uncoated you see that there isn't much difference either in wetness or in the line variation that is offered what about reverse writing That's weird, but a uh, few words and it starts to run dry. Now, finally, my personal favorite, the titanium. But the thing with this is, oh, titanium, it's the exact same medium nib. So there's not really any difference. It's just that because this pen is a little heavier, I find it a little bit more solid in hand. But it writes just like the other two write. It's not a different nib. And I do think these are very fun little pens. Which brings me to the issue of what do I like? And what do I not like about them? Let's talk about that. Mine is uh, about four and a half inches. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Really, like it's 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 four and a half, four and a half inches. Okay. So that is the and this is another pen by Enso, by the way. Review coming up. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have the Enso XS pocket pen. Yeah, I like it. I, I, I'll i be honest, once in a while I, I'm hit with a pen that I didn't expect and I, I really enjoy it. So let's talk about what I like, what I don't like about it. There is a place and definitely a time in my mind for pocket pens. They are very, very useful. Uh, they fit in a breast pocket of a dress shirt, should you wear that, which is nice without sticking out. I mean, try doing that with, a, with an Amiki Emperor. You, you basically knock yourself in the chin every time you look down. So that's not very, very functional, but this is. A small pen, a pen that you can carry around easily, I think is great. Now, the one thing is, it does have to write well. And I'll be honest, all three of these, out of the box, wrote beautifully. Simple cartridge, smooth writers, consistent ink flow, didn't dry out. I am really quite impressed. 
it is sad that these days I have to be impressed when a fountain pen writes, but I am and they work. So I really enjoy that. Um, I, I also uh, really liked the comfort of these pens and I was surprised because I'm not one for thin pens. And yet, I find them comfortable. I honestly, sincerely can say, yeah, I found that they work. They are really quite nice. So that really is pretty cool. Um, I think it's uh, it's 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 a nice, uh, uh, nicely designed pen, even though it has a skinny section with the posting, it's pretty good. So I really, really enjoy that. Things I... Uh, oh, and by the way, the final thing I wanted to say was I like that you can purchase a clip. Um, of course, there are people who will say, yeah, maybe they should throw that in. Yeah, maybe, but also maybe not. There are people who I know would prefer to use this without a clip, so you have the option. And three bucks, when you think about it, on a $59 pen, that's... I don't think that is that terrible. So you have that option to take a clip, not take a clip, and I think that's that's really neat. Okay, what do I not like so much? Well, sometimes I get a little nervous when I open up a pen and I see this, because then I think, why do you give me two extra O-rings? Are these expected to break? I'm being brutally honest here. But yeah, it's, I'm going to say rubber, I haven't chemically analyzed what, what material these O-rings are, um, but it is something rubbery, and yes, metal continuously slides past it, so I suppose at some point they could snap. And what I will say is, it's pretty sweet of the company to give you two O-rings, right? Because should something break, you have a spare, and the company provides you with that free of charge, so I think that is very cool. Um, the system of posting with the O-rings is not necessarily 100%... I don't want to say reliable, because it is reliable, but, but take this, this titanium pen again. That's, that's my favorite finish. So let's, let's take this. Um, if you post this, the cap can rotate a bit. If this pen had little threads at the end, that'd be really neat, because then that, that would not be an issue. Now, to be fair, I'm nitpicking, because when you write with it, there is no rotation. It's just that when you hold it, you feel that a bit. And I know that some people will ask me about, does that cap rotate when it is posted? So in my mind, not when you write with it, but if you are fiddling with it, it does. And the fun thing is, it's a little different. The titanium model rotates most. Here's the aluminum and it, it barely rotates. I really have to exert some force to make that rotate. So it could vary a little bit from pen to pen. Now let's try the other aluminum one. No, that also doesn't rotate so much. So maybe it is the um, uh, titanium. In any case, as I said, in my mind, that is nitpicking. Overall, I think they're cute, I think they're fun, and I really enjoy them. The price? 59 for the aluminum models, that's US dollars, 100 for the titanium, but that is titanium, harder to work with, and is limited to 100 pens. So I don't think that is uh, uh, that's an unfair price for a limited product that is also... Titanium is, is harder to, to process, so I understand that the price goes up. That's all there's to it, yeah, again. I think they're fun pens, so I would heartily recommend them. They write beautifully, they're fun to play with, they're smaller. Uh, I can even see how this might be fun for not too young, because it is metal, but you know, for kids uh, that you want to introduce to pens, it's kind of a nice size for a child, I think. And even for me, it, it's once posted, comfortable size. So I'm very enthusiastic, and I just am. And I thank Enzo very kindly for sending me these pens. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.